there's a time, as we call it a tipping point. Uh, and I think so many accusations, so many cuts, so many drip, drip, drip. Uh, when it got to the 14-year-old story, uh, story uh, that was enough for me. I said, I can't vote for Roy Moore. The state of Alabama deserves better. Uh, I think we, we've got a lot of great Republicans that could have won and carried the state beautifully and served in the Senate honorably. Alabama's senior U.S. Senator Richard well, that's Shelby. That's something you don't see every day. Yeah, uh, saying yesterday he could not vote for Roy Moore and instead wrote in a distinguished Republican name. Democrat Doug Jones seized upon Shelby's comments in a tweet yesterday afternoon, quote, I can work with Senator Shelby better than Roy Moore can work with anybody. Good morning. It is Monday, December 11th. Welcome to Morning Joe. With us, we have national affairs analyst for NBC News and MSNBC, John Hellman, national political reporter for NBC News, Carol Lee, and chair of the Department of African American Studies at Princeton University, Eddie Cloud. So, Jr. before we jump into that, John Hellman, let's first of all talk about how uh, pretty extraordinary it is that you have the senior senator in his state, like Richard Shelby, a guy who by the way, was a Democrat back, I think, in the 80s, uh, became a Republican in the early 90s, and has just been an extraordinarily popular uh, across that state. And by the way, he's remained popular because he's focused on the rural areas. He, right. knows, he knows that's where his bread's buttered. So for him to come out, and say, it's not like he's some big city boy out of Birmingham, Alabama, for him to say that's actually pretty significant. Extraordinarily popular, extraordinarily conservative, um, and also someone who's not a TV yacker. He's not, goes on, doesn't go on television all the time. He's not, uh, with all due respect, not Lindsey Graham, not um, some guy, people who are on TV constantly, right? right. He, he made a choice yesterday right. on that Sunday to do something he doesn't normally do, which is to go on a Sunday show, knowing he would get this question, wanting to put his thumb on the scale or to, to, to weigh in here in a significant way. So it was a, this was a very calculated act by someone who doesn't normally do this kind of thing, designed to try to uh, have a genuine influence on this election. This is not some guy who was caught off guard in the halls of the Russell yeah. building. The timing. Um, so um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a big, it's a big move. By again, Trump. a real conservative, Mika, and he's an Alabama conservative. Yeah. Right. Uh, he's a conser again, a guy that been, grew up a Democrat, became a Republican during the Clinton administration when he just couldn't be a Democrat anymore. Uh, uh, seated in Tuscaloosa, it, you can't go across Tuscaloosa or you can't look at that campus or even look at the county, look at what they've done with Mercedes-Benz without understanding that Richard Shelby's had a big, big impact on it. That's why, again, it's not just some yacker going on TV. That's a guy that has the deepest of roots in central Alabama, and that is n not nothing. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube, and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories, and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.